Dell Technologies is made up of several different organizations placed around the globe. We have over 350 plus test professionals around the world that validate the hardware and software for these products. What got us interested in looking at Cognitive QA was when I came across the World Quality Report. We had recently moved to a test automation capability as well as move into an Alacian based tool suite. We were kind of looking for the next big thing. We had a huge amount of data available, but we really didn't know how to take advantage of that and what we could actually extract from that data. And that's where Cognitive QA came into play. We didn't really have a pain point identified yet when we started looking at this. We actually got some of our subject matter experts and we really started uh, broaching the topic with them and finding out which areas would really solve problems that, that, were, uh, that were hindering them and slowing them down. We have a lot of challenges around the complexity of the server software combinations. Types of NIC cards, the types of RAID cards, the OSs, the browsers. These are going into lots of different environments and it's incumbent on us to make sure that we deliver the highest quality product to our customers at the initial release. The possible configurations that you could come up with um, gets very large very fast and we just quite frankly don't have that much time or money to go test all of them. So our test leads go through a process at the beginning which is typically about a two-week process where they take in historical defect trends, the new requirements, weird combinations of things that they've seen in the past, trying to figure out what are the smallest number of configurations that we can do that we're going to get the most coverage with Cognitive QA, what we're hoping to do is get that two-week process down to a matter of hours. The second area of opportunity through the Cognitive QA solutions was really helping us with our test case planning to look at prior test case runs through a pass-fail frequency score. And the ones that failed less, we would want to prioritize those later into the program and those that failed more frequently to the front end of the program. Finally, we aim to apply the analytics to determine whether we need to automate those, retire those, or even refactor those. The Cognitive QA fits in really well with our test strategy because it dovetails so nicely with what we've done in test automation and continuous testing over the past three to four years. Our proof of concept with Sajeti and Cognitive QA has gone exceptionally well from the start. We certainly reached out to a few other organizations, but the primary reason that we selected Sojeti was that they were really viewed as having the most comprehensive capability in this space. The organization and the team were very responsive to our needs, refining our statements and really trying to hone us in on the end state goal. The other thing that we really liked about Sujeti was the domain expertise that they clearly had demonstrated in product engineering and the test engineering space, where we really wanted to see that blending of analytics in our domain. Sujeti has done a wonderful job at setting us up for the future success and implementing cognitive QA within Dell Technologies.